Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today I will demonstrate you an infrared beam cut sensor. For this I have made an infrared pair composed by the transmitter and the receiver circuit. The transmitter is a simple oscillator that drives an infrared LED with a frequency of around 7 kHz. In this design I have used the 555 timer chip connected as an adjustable multivibrator to get the pulses. You can use whatever oscillator circuit you may, as for example a transistor adjustable multivibrator. The pulses are driven directly to the infrared LED as the 555 can sync up to 200 mA. Although the human eye is unable to see the infrared light, the beam still exists. Now for the receiver circuit. The infrared detector is an infrared diode in a 3mm LED package. This diode is reverse biased to operate normally. The pulses are driven through a filtering capacitor to the base of the amplifier. The potentiometer adjusts the base current of this amplifier and thus it adjusts the signal amplification. In other words, this is the sensitivity adjustment of the circuit. The pulses are then smoothed by a large electrolytic capacitor. Across this capacitor there will be generated a voltage. The voltage level will have to do with the intensity of the incoming pulses. This voltage is compared to a reference voltage with this comparator chip. When the beam is cut, the pulses does not arrive to the diode and thus the amplifier output goes to maximum as this is an inverting amplifier and so does the voltage across the smoothing capacitor. The comparator will notice this change and it will change its output to low. If you want to change the operation of the comparator and change its state to high when the beam is cut, you only need to swap the inverting and non-inverting inputs of this comparator. Like this. Now the comparator will change its state to high when the beam is cut and it remains to low state as long as the pulses continues to arrive at the infrared diode. This circuit is designed for specific applications where the distance between the transmitter and the receiver diodes will not exceed the 25 mm that is close to an inch. It's very sensitive and it gives accurate results. It can be finely adjusted through this potentiometer to detect different states of the infrared beam. For example, by increasing the sensitivity, it can detect if a semi-transparent material dims or diffuses the infrared beam, like this piece of plastic bag over here. If the sensitivity is decreased, then this bag will not actuate the output anymore. It can also detect thin beam breakers like this thin wire. This makes it suitable for making rotary encoders and limit switches. As for interferences, the detector diode itself will reject all interferences beyond the infrared spectrum. Also, the filtering capacitor will prevent the constant infrared radiation from the sun or from other light sources to change the behavior of the circuit. In extreme situations where the ambient light levels increase dramatically, you may need to adjust the sensitivity of the amplification and the circuit will continue to operate normally. I tested also with two high brightness LEDs from a very close distance to see if they interfere with the circuit. And also I tested with a laser beam, yet the circuit did not change its behavior. The only problem is with modulated infrared light. An example is a TV remote control. It has a safe infrared diode and transmits a modulated infrared signal. I have not add an active filter to reject such a frequency and therefore it may interfere with the receiver. This is something that you need to take into account during design time. But due to the nature of the circuit, it will be usually put inside a housing. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting circuits.